Given that the modulus r and the angle theta in radians of a complex number are known, we can define a new form, which is called the exponential form of a complex number, and is given by this. z is equal to r by e to the power of theta i, where r is the modulus, theta is the angle, and then we have i, which is the square root of minus 1, and then e, which is an irrational number as pi, and is roughly 2.721, but also you would recognize this as the exponential function, and that is what gives the name to the exponential form of a complex number. But where is the exponential form coming from? It is important that when doing mathematics, you don't take everything for granted, and that you ask yourself if you can deduce the formula that you are given. In this particular case, I'm not going to do the deduction as I did when getting the polar form of a complex number. Since for getting the exponential form, you need to know about differentiation, which you probably know already, but also a bit of power series, which you haven't probably covered yet. If you're curious about how to get the exponential form, you can always come back to this once you have covered the topics mentioned before, differentiation and power series. You just have to remember something important when dealing with the exponential form. The exponential form works for angles given in radians. So just be careful if you're used to work with degrees when you're using the polar form, that if you go to the exponential form, you're going to need your angle in radians. When the angle is given in radians, the use of power series shows that e to the power of theta i, where theta is the angle in radians, is equal to cos of theta plus i sine of theta. Now, if you remember a bit about the polar form of a complex number, the polar form of a complex number was given by this, r by cos of theta plus i sine of theta. That was the polar form. Therefore, this identity here, which only works if theta is given in radians, remember that, allows us to go from the polar form to the exponential form. Since we can replace this bit here, cos of theta plus i sine of theta, which is the same as this bit here, by e to the power of theta i. So from our last video, if you remember the last example, we had a number given in Cartesian form, minus 1 minus the square of 3i, and we converted that one into the polar form, which is 2 by cos of 4 pi over 3, which was the angle, plus i by sine of 4 pi over 3, which is theta as well, and then 2 is our modulus. To get now the exponential form, you just have to remember the main thing, which is theta has to be in radians, which is our case, theta is equal to 4 pi over 3 radians, and r is equal to 2, then we can write the exponential form like this, z is equal to r by e to the power of theta i, replacing r, which is 2, and theta, which is 4 pi over 3, we get that the exponential form of this number here is z is equal to 2 by e to the power of 4 pi over 3i.